Welcome to our Adaptive Silviculture Culture for Climate Change Planting. I'm going to show you our standard protocol for how we'd like to plant a tree. Not just because it's good to remember how to plant, but we really want to try to plant all the trees as similarly as we possibly can because this is a science experiment. So uh, what you'll do first is find a spot with a code that matches your tree. So this is Q-U-B-I which is short for Quercus bicolor, which is swamp white oak. And I've grabbed myself a tree that says Q-U-B-I, Quercus bicolor for swamp white oak. So here I got my tree. The biggest thing about planting bare root trees is keep the roots wet. All the trees should be in water when they're not in the ground or wrapped tightly in a tarp where they can stay moist. So I know that this tree um, is going to want to be planted at its root flare. And this is another sort of tricky thing about planting bare root trees. You'll find the root collar just above the last root and on some trees there's even a little bit of a color change where it goes from the root collar to the regular trunk of the tree. A good rule of thumb is to always plant high. Trees don't die. So I want to make sure that this tree the ground level is about right here and maybe even a little bit closer to right here just to err on the high side. The, what that'll do is it'll prevent the tree's roots from going around in a circle and actually choking it out. So back into the water with you tree while I dig my hole. So I'm going to move my flag over. I will actually put this back in once I'm done, but you'll want to dig your hole as deep as your roots need it to be, and maybe even a little deeper so your tree roots have room to wiggle waggle around and start to find the moisture and the nutrients that they need in the soil. It's nice sandy digging here. That looks good. So I'll grab my tree, make sure that it's real happy in its hole, and so you can kind of see how these roots are like, oh, we want a little more space this way. I'm gonna throw my tree back in and just shave off a little bit more space. We are sending these trees off to tree college. We wanna make sure that they have everything they need to be super successful. And we're not gonna scrimp because they're our babies. So that's a little more like it. So what I'll do now is I'll hold it Again, at that height where I'd like it to be, keeping an eye on that and kind of keeping an eye on, mm, is this thing going to grow straight? Do my best with that too. So I'll start to put some soil in, kind of breaking it up. Something that can happen when you're planting is you can get an air hole where the soil doesn't reach and then those roots can dry out. What's the number one rule of planting bare root trees? Don't let the roots dry out. So what I'll do is just add a little bit of water and that'll help the soil kind of sink down and fill in all those gaps. And I'm still kind of keeping an eye on my root collar, keeping an eye on my straightness as I backfill. And then each tree will get two gallons of water. So I filled this bucket up with four gallons and our tree will get half of it. And you might kind of make yourself like a little, some little barriers so that water stays with your tree too. Great. And then lastly, maybe go around and give it a little stomp. What that'll help with is, again, popping any of those air bubbles so that those roots stay in contact with the water. That looks good to me. So now I'll put my flag back 
making sure I'm not stabbing any of my roots, and then I'm all done.